let's come now to the introduction to probability and statistics. In this introduction, we will preview what we'll be, we will be studying in this course. Don't worry if many of the terms are unfamiliar. They will be explained as the course proceeds. Probability and statistics are deeply connected because all statistical statements are at bottom statements about probability. Despite this, the two sometimes feel like very different subjects, probability is logically self-contained. There are few rules and answers all follow logically from the rules, though so computations can be tricky. In statistics, we apply probability to draw conclusions from data. This can be messy and usually involves as much as art as science. Please also note that, that in probability, there is one correct answer, but in statistics, there is no single correct answer. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say, for instance, you toss a coin 100 times. What is the probability of 60 or more heads? There is only one answer, about 0.28444, and we will learn how to compute it. In statistics, let's say for instance you have a coin of unknown provenance to investigate whether it is a fair, you toss it 100 times and count the number of heads. Let's say you count 60 heads. Your job as a statistician is to draw a conclusion or inference from this data. There are many ways to proceed, both in terms of the form the conclusion takes and the probability computations used to justify the conclusion. In fact, different statisticians might draw different conclusion. Note that in the first example, the random process is fully known. We all know that probability of heads is 0.5. The objective is to find the probability of certain outcome at least 60 heads arising from the random process. In the second example, the outcome is known, 60 heads, and the objective is to eliminate the unknown random process or the probability of heads. Let's come now to the frequentist versus Bayesian interpretations. There are two prominent and sometimes conflicting schools of statistics. We have the Bayesian and frequentist. Their approaches are rooted in different interpretations of the meaning of probability. Frequentist says that the probability measures the frequency of various outcomes of an experiment. For example, saying a fair coin has 50% probability of heads means that if we toss it many times, then we expect about half of the toses to land heads. Meanwhile, in Bayesian, they say that probability is an abstract concept that measures a state of knowledge or a degree of belief in a given proposition. In practice, Bayesian do not assign a single value for the probability of a coin coming up heads. Rather, they consider a range of values each with its own probability of being true. In this course, we will study and compare these approaches. The, the frequentist approach has long been dominant in the fields like biology, medicine, public health, and social sciences. The Bayesian approach has enjoyed a resurgence in the era of powerful computers and big data. I think you will also meet Bayesian approach in your subjects, especially in computer science, your subject in artificial intelligence and machine learning. It is especially useful when incorporating new data into existing statistical model. For example, when training a speech or face recognition system. Today, statisticians are creating powerful tools by using both approaches in complementary ways. Let's come to the application, toy models, and simulation. Probability and statistics are used widely in the physical science, engineering, medicine, the social science, the life science, economics, and computer science. The list of applications is essentially endless. Test of one medical treatment against another, or also known as placebo, is an example. Measure of genetic linkage, the search for elementary particles, machine learning for vision or speech, gambling probabilities and strategy, climate modeling, economic forecasting, epidemiology, marketing, googling, and etc. We will draw on examples from many of these fields during this course. Given so many exciting applications, you may wonder why we will spend so much time thinking about toy models like coin and dice. By understanding this thoroughly, we'll develop a good feel for simple 
essence inside many complex real world real world problems in fact the modest coin is a real, realistic model for any situation with two possible outcomes success or failure of a treatment an airplane engine a bet or even a class sometimes a problem is so complicated that the best way to understand it is through computer simulation here we'll use software to run virtual experiments many times in order to estimate probabilities so in this course we will use Python programming for simulation as well as computation and visualization. Don't worry if you're new to Python programming, I will teach you all about Python. Thank you for listening for today. That's the introduction to probability and statistics. For any questions, you can raise it in our discussion panel on the link provided below. See you next week. Thank you.